So this is how the Schrade Uncle Henry 171 UH Pro Hunter rides on the belt. A very nice chestnut brown sheath. Uh, they usually come out very good. The knife is held in very secure. You've got your sharpening stone in the pouch. Very easy to access the knife. All right, guys, we're not going to get too crazy with this knife, the 171 UH uh, Pro Hunter, uh, Schrade Uncle Henry. This is a hunting knife. That's its primary use. It is a uh, kind of a rat tang knife. It's screwed onto the back of the brass pommel like that. So, you know, the tang is cut down there. There's a 90 degree angles there. So, yeah, if you get too rough with this knife... There's possible breakage. This is the next generation Staglon model, okay? And um, a handsome knife, very handsome knife. As you can see from the tip, it is designed for hunting. You can roll it into other tasks. The tip is not crazy thick, so you got to be a little careful there. I'm going to, uh, guys, I'm just going to kind of test the integrity of this knife. Put it through a few paces with some wood just for the purpose of, you know, making sure it's going to stand up to something and that this will be a good knife for you guys to use. A nice brass guard, 7CR17 MOV steel. Uh, let's see how it, some of this wood is wet. Let's see how it wants to shave this wood here. I have worked on the edge a little bit. I, as I, you guys know, I've said in many videos, I kind of like a the actual edge grind to be kind of a convex grind. So um, I make the edge my own, and everybody should do that. If you're a nice person, you know, learn to sharpen the knife the way you like it and take care of that. But yeah. This thing's definitely a feather stick maker. Not a real uh, thick blade. It's about an eighth of an inch thick, I'd say. But uh, And don't shy away from the 7CR17 MOV. It does a fairly good job. Uncle Henry does a good job. He getting it heat treated. This is the overseas version of this knife. Uh, the original Pro Hunters were designed and made in the 70s. Uh, since 2004, the company has changed hands, and this one is an overseas made version. But yeah, <laughs> feathers, no problem with that edge at all. Tough getting off of there. Whack it off. There we go. Yeah, I had a little, little bump there. 
see what the tip does. I'm not going to get too wild crazy with this tip. Again, the knife is not designed for this kind of use, but I'm going to test it for you so uh, you don't have to. How's that? So now, could I break this tip off? Yep, I probably could. So I'm not going to get too crazy with this thin tip. Again, primary use is a hunting knife. But we do want to make sure the tip isn't going to snap easily. Because if it did, while you were cleaning your animal, that would be upsetting. Don't want that to happen. So yeah, seems like you can uh, get some stuff done with this tip. And by the way, this is the knife that was in the um, Walking Dead series. Glenn used it a few times. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool, kind of a cool choice of a knife to have on that show. It looked good. Killed a few zombies, so you know it can at least do that. So yeah, well, tip. It's doing pretty good. Stabbing it in there pretty good and it's holding up. Holding up nicely. So, yeah. Maybe it wouldn't make a uh, the best tool for a bow drill divot, but yeah. Made a little hole there. Not bad. Not a chopping knife, but just to put some wear on this blade. Let's see if it holds up, and I'm thinking it will. Kind of cut a notch here. it off from this end this blade is over five inches it's a little bit more than five inches so it's a good sized blade Not for chopping. Again, I just want to put a little wear on it. Make sure it holds up. Baton a little bit of this. Oops, sorry for that camera move. Not um, really a premium knife for batoning because of that trailing tip, that trailing point. That's what it means when this, when your tip comes up past the spine of your knife, they call that a trailing tip, okay? So that's a trailing tip, not the perfect choice for batoning, but um, <clears throat> on the one of the original Schrade videos, I don't know, maybe seven years ago, they featured this knife and they called it a hunting survival knife so they say you can use it for survival and you you can i'd say you can roll it into some so some survival tasks but just be careful because it's not that's not its primary design okay let's go um let's do a little baton a little bigger piece here Yeah, no problems there. This is some gnarly wood. Yeah, a 
those little does curl them right up those nice little curly cues there So no problem with feathers, a little batoning, a little chopping, a little uh, tip use. So yeah, the Schrade Uncle Henry 171 UH, I like it. I think it's a great looking knife. I've said in other videos, I'm really stuck on this uh, Stagalon design. It just does it for me, I just like it. Not an expensive knife. You can find these in the upper 30s to lower 40s, and uh, I recommend them. I, if you don't like the style, it's not going to be for you, but I definitely like the style. Nice brass finger guard there. Comfortable in the hand. Look how wide that handle is. Yep. All right, guys. There it is. 171 UH, UH, straight Uncle Henry. Thanks for watching. Common Sense Outdoorsman. We'll see you next time.